Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing well wherever it is that you are. I'm talking a little bit loud because I'm driving down a country road and uh, it's taking me home uh, to the place I belong. <laughs> it's Alabama though. Um, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, if you would, before we get started, uh, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button uh, if you have not, uh, because that really helps us out uh, in the channel. And thank you guys for all the ones who have recently uh, subscribed, like 45 or 50 in the past few days. Thank you. Uh, that, that, that's really cool. I appreciate it. Um, I wanted to kind of go over a couple of thoughts with you guys. I have been doing a lot a lot of work around the property like uh, moving and extending our garden our summer and our fall garden spots and then also moving and extending our uh, chickens our poultry and then there's also moving and extending uh, a lot of different things that we're working on uh, for uh, some other critters that we're going to have around the property uh, quail and uh, just really working at increasing what we can bring in now we're on three acres in a semi-rural area um, but I wanted to tell you this uh, because people I, I you know you might look at it and say oh well this is great for you you're doing this and you've done this for forever and now you're at this and uh, I wanted to be honest and, and tell you I will never be 100% self-sufficient in this location where I am if I moved and got to where I had uh, you know 50 50 acres plus Maybe, maybe, more like with a hundred, maybe. Um, but I would still need more than myself, more than my wife uh, and, and kids and grandkids. Now, some of you who I talk to off of, uh, away from, you know, YouTube and, and the Facebook and everything know that, uh, my wife Shauna has had some health problems and has had a lot of problems with her, uh, her shoulder and it uh, looks like we're going to go in and have some surgery done uh, on a rotator, uh, it's the muscle group around the rotator cuff area, uh, the shoulder. So that's going to be quite involved, but you know, it, it is okay. So it goes from two, two older people. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I'm 54 and my wife is 21. That's all I'll tell you. But it goes from one person, two people, one and a half persons if someone is injured. And in these kind of situations, you really need to be very frank with yourself and do an honest to goodness assessment and realize that you will not be able to provide yourself everything you need on that hundred acres and still be gainfully employed to pay taxes, to provide insurance and live the life that you are accustomed to. There is a lot to consider with that. And sometimes I post these questions and I leave them as questions and sometimes I post them and I try to give hints to answers or, or things that I might consider an answer. One of the best things you can do in a situation like this is community. And I talk about it a lot. Uh, some people, uh, you know, say that I talk about community, your, your, your cohort, your cabal, your, 
your mag, whatever it is you want to call it, ad nauseum. That is going to be a really, really big help for you. Uh, now, it's hard finding those kind of people, but really, I think what is going to help a lot of people in the long term and with everything that's going to come about, everything that's going to happen, um, I think you're going to have to have a community, whether it is a close network or an extended group of friends. Um, that is what's going to get people through a long haul. And, and I'm all, always the first one to say I will never, ever live off-grid without air conditioning. I am down here in deep south Alabama uh, to where, we, you know, we have 103 days with 100% uh, humidity. I will never live without air conditioning if I can, if I can help it. And, uh, and then I will do my very best to have some sort of internet capability just because of what I do. I can live remotely uh, based off of my job, but I have to have some sort of internet connection. Um, I think you're really going to need to set up some sort of group or just start looking. Um, if you're looking for people, if you want to know about beekeeping, look for beekeeping groups or gardening, look for gardening groups or, you know, poultry groups, uh, butchering groups, stuff like that. Odds are that people that do this are roundabout quietly in the preparedness circle. They're just not going to tell you because to them, you're the outsider. You're the weirdo. Do not discount uh, neighbors and friends, but most of them are of the mind that, boy, when something happens, I know where I'm going to go because that's what most of my friends and neighbors tell me. You better find you a group of people. If you can count them on one hand, you're damn lucky. People that you can count on and say, I have a question about that. I know you do this for a living. I'm not asking you to come over and help me. I'm just asking you, can I do this, 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 this? Plumbing, for example. Can can I do this and this and this and this? And they'll say, no. No, you can't do that, Darren. You're insane. You have to do it this way. And I'm like, holy cow, I never would have thought about doing it this way. This is what you have to think about. Um... You will not do very well on your own. Case in point about my wife uh, having an upcoming surgical procedure uh, on her shoulder, a significant uh, amount of time for recovery. You better have plans in place. Is it too late? No, no it's not. But you better start working at it. I'm not trying to give you doom and gloom and everything. Oh, yeah. And you know Tucker Carlson got fired? Yeah, and you know what? I don't give a shit. I know the name. I, I couldn't pick him out in a group. I don't watch television. Don't give a shit. The way it is. I, I hear he's very wealthy. He will do fine. Um, I know he worked for Fox as a commentator or something. And uh, I'm quite sure that Fox will be fine as well. Don't give a damn. If it does not affect the temperature in my greenhouse or my bank account or the food on my family's table, I don't care. It's a harsh thing to say, but I just don't care. Um, Hope you guys are all doing well. Keep the questions coming. I have been responding to you guys uh, via email. If I get a good question, I will post it. 
Uh, I have been getting a lot of good questions, but I've just been bouncing the emails back to you guys, and I really appreciate it. Consider joining us over on Patreon. I have to uh, uh, start sending a lot more over uh, to Patreon because I owe them uh, a video this week. But I appreciate everybody for coming by and hanging out. Again, questions, thoughts, comments about whatever. Let me know. Take care of your people. Look for your people. You know, if you can't find people to be in your group, maybe it's you. <laughs> See you guys around.